I had no accent. I lost my accent 20 years ago. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm Russian. But I'm American. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> Good to see everybody here. All oh, these smiling faces, always beautiful. Oh. Oh, Sandy, you here? Oh, so good to see you. My Siberian flower is here. I have a surprise for you. Yeah. I write beautiful, romantic song for you. Oh. But first, I tell a story how I come to America. You see, many years ago, I, I, I got on plane, and I was so, so amazed. Next to me was sitting famous man. His name is Albert Einstein. Oh, I knew it was him because his hair, you know, it reminds me of a dandelion, you know, like this. I wanted to go, but I get in trouble, I know. He, interesting man, he very smart, he talked Russian. I surprised. He said to me, you know, uh, America's very far away, so maybe we play game. And I'm thinking, play game, this is interesting. Okay, we play game. What okay. game? He say, well, I ask you a question, and if you can answer the question, if you cannot answer the question, you give me one dollar, okay? Then your turn. You ask me a question, but I warn you, I'm very, very smart. I know everything. So if, if I cannot answer your question, I give you one thousand dollars. I'm thinking to myself, one thousand dollars is a lot of money. I buy business in America. I be rich like all Americans. I like this game. Okay, we play. So, Albert asked me a question. <clears throat> he said, okay, how far is moon from Earth? I thinking, I thinking. I never think of this question, how far is moon from Earth? I know it's very far. So I gave him one dollar. <laughs> now my turn. I ask him a question. He's a very smart man. I must ask very, very difficult questions. Okay, I say, I have a question. Okay, what goes up with three legs, come down with four? And Albert, he's scratching his head. He's thinking, he's thinking, his head very red. He take money from pocket, give him $1,000. I'm so excited. I couldn't be a rich man in, in America, like all Americans. So now, his turn. He said to me, you know, I'm a very, very smart man. I know everything. I have many questions. I know answer. But this one question, I know no answer. So I'm going to ask you back. What goes up with three legs and come down with four? I take a one dollar give to him and say, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so when I come into America, first thing I do, I go to school to learn English. I study morning, I study afternoon, evening, and at night time I play tape of English language. So I sleep, I learn at the same time. I learn English very, very quickly. So to practice, I go outside to Main Street where many Americans are walking. And right away, one American come up to me. He say, hey man, what's up? <laughs> I'm looking, I don't see nothing. He laughing too. He said, no, no, no. I said, what's up? I looking again. I say, what, you see something? I don't see nothing. So I find out, I, I'm learning the American language very tricky. So I'm walking, I'm walking, and another man, he was mad at me or something, I don't know why. He come to me, he goes, hey man, back up. So I, I, I back up like this. Why he want my back up? Maybe he want to steal my money or something. So I grab my wallet, I run to bank, I run inside bank, big line in bank. And uh, I get in line, I say, this is a good place to put my money so American will steal my money. So I get in line and I ask man, excuse me, uh, is this line for deposit? He say yes. I ask him, so uh, why are you here? And he say, I'm here to check my balance. And I say, I help you. I push him, he fall down. <laughs> they arrest me. And I say, why arrest me? His balance no good. <laughs> so I'm learning that American language is very, very tricky. Also, you know, for us to say the TH word is very difficult. For you, easy. For us, no such 
TH word in other language in, in Siberia. For instance, you say the word, the, 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 I cannot say it, I say this. Take this over there. You say, the, 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 the. I cannot say it. So I say this, there, or this, that. This is how I say. Well, you know what? For us, for the, for you, it's difficult. Also, uh, you have letters that we cannot pronounce. For instance, my name is in Russian is Mikhail. Okay, same name as Gorbachev. Gorbachev. His name is not Mikhail Gorbachev. No, Mikhail. That is not Russian. Mikhail. See, Americans cannot pronounce. H. They cannot say H, they go K. So I try teaching American, look, my name is Mikhail, say H. He go K. He said, no, no. H. He goes K. No, it's like R H is H, not H. Okay, say H. He goes K. Okay, say H. He goes K. Oh, I cannot say what he said. It's a bad word. It's a bad word. So, so, I, so now I say my name Misha is much, much easier to say Misha than Mikhail, okay? So, now I'm gonna play for this beautiful music that I write for my beautiful bride. But uh, this is guitar, I'm not familiar with guitar. This is American instrument in Spanish, I believe. Uh, in S Siberia, we have balalaika, it's triangle, Beautiful instrument, only three strings, very simple to play. You know, two string, same note, third string, four, fourth up. But you know, when we sing in front of people, they are little tune, balalaika, no need, we have secret. We give everybody lots of vodka, vodka, vodka. <laughs> they happy, they dance, no need to tune balalaika. But here in America, it's, it's guitar is, uh, so I play it. I, I'm going to try to play it. Okay, here it goes. Oh, oh, no, oh, no ha chord in here? Ha? Oh, no, no, it's American. Okay, so a G chord. Okay, let's so try a G chord. Try a G chord. Ah, ah, much better. Okay, here it goes to this beautiful romantic song from my Siberian father. See, let me sing the song for you, and I'll rhyme it too. I love you. See, let me sing the song for you, and I'll rhyme it too. Thank <laughs> you. 